Hello everyone, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome to a very special video on a very special game called Undertale. Now, this is actually just a demo for a game that is hopefully coming out sometime this year, I believe I was told. So I also need to focus the window. I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> so here's some basic instructions. We can Z to confirm, X to cancel, C to menu while in game, F4 to use full screen if you want to do that, and hold escape to quit. And of course, when our health points go to zero, we lose. So yeah, this is a demo of a game that was actually successfully greenlit, and I think is coming out later in the year. Not 100% sure, but this game is very special like holy shit it's unique as hell and i'm gonna keep it true to life and name myself myself and there we go yeah that's correct so there's gonna be interesting things and it's, it's gonna take a little bit to get into everything so stick with me because this is a very interesting game uh if you like rpgs you probably a lot like earthbound or mother starling uh you'll probably get a kick out of this even though, really, it's a kind of like a mixture of a lot of good parts of RPGs out there. But we'll get into that when we actually get into that. We start here, and we're in a nice, nice bit of flowers. At least we had a nice soft landing, and we have to go over here. This is the only way we can go, so... Let's go up here and have a look. Ooh! Oh, I want to walk around you. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess the little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Yay! See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What does love stand for? Why love, of course. I kind of ruined that. I originally thought it was level, but I think that's what the game wanted you to think. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, that's... Down there, down here. Love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Ah! You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass out an opportunity like this? Die! <laughs> what a credit! Torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel. <laughs> Caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Yay! I follow you! And so here we go, here's the first area, the ruins. And anytime you see a little shadow, or the shadow, a star here, I saw a shadow. <laughs> it's a save point. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. And determination is how we save. I like how every, so far, every save point I've found has had a different little, like, blurb to it. This whole game is full of dialogue that is interesting and fun to read. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you on the operation of the ruins. There we go. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Shall do. What do you have here? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Oh, I do say. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled ones you'll need to flip. So you can definitely tell where you get like an old school RPG from this, and its creativity is what a lot of people would say is like very earthbound and very mother style. <laughs> and that, that sign is telling Ah shit. That sign is telling me that I need to press the button I, I actually needed to press to read the sign to read the, the blah, blah. Please press this switch. 
Oh, okay. And then air uh, breeze. Okay, well, I will do that too then. There we go. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Indeed. This switch doesn't even seem to work. Man, I wanted to be a rebel though. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Still for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay, so this is an interesting... I'll get into this. Let's just go into this, first of all. So, we encountered the dummy. Here's the battle screen. There's a lot of things to think about here because there's actually multiple ways to deal with enemies, right? So, with this, we have a fight command where we actually physically strike the dummy. And you have to do like a little mini game within it to hit correctly. It's almost like Mario and Luigi RPG style where you have to aim your hits right to get the most damage. We can also act, which usually means something like uh, talking or checking the enemy, seeing what kind of stats they have. Uh, in this case, we have check and talk. We have items, of course, which we don't have any of, and we also have mercy, which is we can spare the enemy, or we can flee from the enemy. So I'm going to just talk, since that's what that's what she requested. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much of a conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. Yay, we did it! Ah, very good. You are very good. Well, thank you. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. So I will say now, since I'm on the... I don't know if I'm going to be going to the very end of this particular demo. Oh no! We're being attacked! Frog, it attacks you! Let's check... Oh, we can compliment or threat the threat the frog. Let's check him. Frog, it attack four, defense five. Life is difficult for this enemy. <laughs> She's looking at you. She's got her eye on you. Now... We haven't been attacked yet, but it becomes a very interesting little thing when we get attacked. So, the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Ah, okay. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. So he's gonna just walk us through it. This is like a nice tutorial. But, uh, it's very interesting. I don't think I'm gonna get to the end, but I can say... In this particular demo, there is like five different outcomes you can get to the very ending because of the way you deal with fights. Full pacifism is an ending and full aggression is an ending. But then there is semi-aggression with certain things you do at the end also being multiple endings. There are so many things you can do with the battle system and it's ridiculous. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. No, I refuse! Okay. So this is actually just a long room. Just a long room. A long room. Oh my god, so long. Oh! Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? And so now, we actually have a little cell phone thing on our menu here. We can also check out our stats if we want to. We apparently are wielding a stick. So clearly the best item. Say hello about yourself. Call her mom. Flirt! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> how adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Ah, Man! Sweet, sweet lady. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? 
There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Don't worry, I will be. Here's some, here's a safe point though. Playful crinkling, uh, crinkling through, playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. And a save point. So the A. What is here? It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. You took a piece of candy. Yay! I'm going to take another one. Yes. You took more candy. How disgusting. <laughs> take one. Yes! You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Yes. I will. You took too much too fast and the candy spills onto the floor. Oh no. Look at what you've done. No, <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm the worst human being. Ah! Oh man, it's a Wimson. Okay, well, I'm not gonna go for any pacifism or aggression endings in particular, full ones anyway. So I'll see, I'll show you what fighting looks like. If we hit fight, we get another bar. We have to try and attack within the middle to be able to strike at our strongest. Oh, what is no? Oh, look. So this is actually giving you a hint, but you'll kind of get it later. Proper anyway. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? I'm actually a cinnamon man. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. No. Oh. Hello, this is Toriel. Wait, Toriel is in like. Tutorial? Oh my god! Uh, my mind is blown! <laughs> do you do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Alright, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Holy shit! Why didn't I think of that before? Three out of four grey rocks, recommend you push them. Well, there you go. Okay, so what else can we do with this guy? Wimsome, attack five, defense zero. This monster is too sensitive to fight. I have no choice. Okay, so here's our actual battle system. So when you get attacked, a heart will appear in the little box there and you actually have to dodge, like, it's like a bullet hell. You basically play a bullet hell. I'm a console him. Halfway through you burst into tears and run away. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry, man! I didn't- Ah, oh. Man, I had no idea. Ah, uh, No! Okay, so we fell and landed on some leaves. Huh, these leaves are very oddly placed, don't you think? Please don't step on the leaves. I mean, that's also a hint, I guess. But we're just gonna do it our way and rough it out. Like, if you really wanted to, you could easily just, like, mark it all out. What if we, uh, try to terrorize him? You raise your arms and wiggle your finger fingers. I can't handle this! Oh. Oh! Oh! I saw that! It was going a bit weird. What if I try and spare him? Ah! We got a gold for it. Okay. So, sparing him actually worked. Ah! I went too far. Whoops. Let's try that again, once more with feeling. So it was here, I guess, and then up, and then, oh, what's this say? Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Oh, crap, no. We're okay, though, so. Put you there. Oh, another battle. Oh! I've never run into multiple before. Flirt? <laughs> Okay, mold small, attack six, defense zero, stereotypical, curvaceously effective, uh, attractive, curvishly, curvously, curv what even is that word? Curvaceously, having the curves of a full or voluptuous figure, curvaceously, yeah, huh, okay, I wouldn't say that about a, about a jelly, or whatever that is, I don't know what that is, also, can I know? Music is so good. You can actually get the soundtrack from the website that I'm gonna link in the description where you can get the demo as well. Woo, that was close. Okay, so uh, let's flirt. You wiggle your hips. 
Wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, geez. They're exploding. Oh, ooh, ah. The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through the air. <laughs> Maybe if I flirt some more. Okay. It doesn't seem like that they are... They are being swayed by my hips swaying. Can I spare them? Oh, I can. Okay. There we go. So, whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Wow. That guy is... He did well. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No, you... That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Thank you. Ah, shit. That cheeky... Let's just spare them from the get-go. Okay, yeah, we're good. No gold, though. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout, you know. See, it did say three out of four rocks. So I guess there you go. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole to get the cheese. It feel, feels you with determination. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh my God, yeah. This ghost keeps saying Z uh, out loudly, repeatedly. Depends sleep. Movie with force? Yes. Here comes Nab <laughs> Napster Bloke. Bloke. Okay, so let's check him out. Ooh. His attack is 10, his defense is 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh, he's crying. No. <laughs> okay, there we go. What can we do? Uh, we can flirt with him. I just weigh you down. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. Maybe if I cheer you on. Yeah! <laughs> See, he's still crying. Oh, man. Let's cheer him on some more. Yeah! And see, this is how we fight down enemies without actually fighting down enemies. Cheer him on. Let me try. Oh! I call it the Dapper Blook. Do you like it? It's... It's wonderful. Flirt. <laughs> I think he wanted me to cheer him on. Alright. Oh, what did it say? Cheering seems to have improved Napster's mood again. Okay. Oh, gee! I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, you! You darn diddly! Did you miss it? Spider bake sale. Right and down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. There's a lot of spiders involved, apparently. Alright. Leave 7G in the web? Yeah. I didn't have enough gold. No! Spider bake sale! No! I can't, because I have been, haven't been killing dudes. See, this isn't the problem with... Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act in a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use the mercy, human. That's, that's the hint at saying you can do other stuff than just whacking away. Oh no! What is this, though? <gasps> it's a vegetoid! Oh no, we're gonna fight it. Ugh. Eat your greens! Oh god, oh, ah, oh, jeez. So, I've actually been, fuck. I've actually been really good at dodging all of these attacks so far. Oh, 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 no, I got hit. Ugh. 
Then you get multiple hit. You can get hit multiple times during an attack, so you're gonna have to be careful sometimes. Farmed locally. Very locally. Ah, ooh, ee, no tomato. You know what? I want my health back. Yum. <laughs> I love being able to do that. That's such a great way to deal with an enemy. Uh, it's so unique, man. This game is just so good. What are you? It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Oh, God. Oh, oh, mod. <gasps> It does multiple attacks, like they combine their abilities? Oh my god. I don't care! Wow. Rude. Ow. Can I spare them both? Swing your arms, baby! Da 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 da. So I've. Ah! Interesting. Hiya! Hey! Cooey! Oh, look, he's dancing! Look at that! So I've got rid of one of them at least. Which is nice. Hiya! Look at you, you're just dancing around, having a good time. Can I spare you now? Yeah, I can, all right. Sweet! I didn't even need to kill them if I didn't want to. That is neat, I like that. Let's uh, activate this. And then we can go on our merry way. And there's some puzzles and there's like another bit we can go into. Look, this game is charming and I love it. And I'm not gonna lie, as soon as it comes out on Steam, I'm all over it. I'm, I'm just there, I'm there, I'm done. So, you should check it out. I'll link the website in the description below. I was thinking about going to the end of the demo, but you know what, I'm not gonna because I want you guys to go and play this yourself because honestly, the ending, totally worth it, especially if you do it multiple times. Save, reload, try something new, try something different. It's really interesting. Thank you for watching this episode of Undertale, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye.